Hi, it's Paul Maunder from Production Expert. In this video, we'll be looking at automation trim mode in Pro Tools. This is an advanced automation feature which allows you to modify existing automation. It works on top of one of the existing automation modes. For example, this track has existing volume automation on it and it's in latch mode, but I can enable trim with this. Now you'll notice that the fader has turned gold and if I play this back and don't touch the fader, we'll hear the existing volume automation changes, but the fader won't move. That's because in trim mode, the fader is essentially there to apply a second layer of automation, which ultimately will be added to your pre-existing automation. Let's start this playing back again, and I'll make some changes with the trim fader. As I'm doing this, if you look closely at the value under the fader, there's a delta symbol by it. This indicates that the fader is now applying a degree of change rather than absolute values. Now, if I stop this, we've got three things going on when we're viewing the volume automation. The original automation, in black, the trim automation I've just applied, in yellow, and the sum total of the two, which is what you'll actually hear, in blue. You can actually switch the track to volume trim view if you want. This hides the original volume automation graph and shows breakpoints for the trim automation, should you wish to manually tweak them afterwards. I'll switch this back to volume view. If at this point I decided that the trim automation I'd just applied was no good, I could clear it. One way to do this is to right click on the track name and choose clear trim automation. And you see, it's gone. Or if I just undo that, we could keep this trim automation for as long as we want and it would all play back fine. But at some point we might want to actually commit the trim automation and sum it with the original volume automation. This is a process called coalescing. Right clicking on the track name, you'll find this option there or it's also in the track menu, but I think this is quicker. Now, the trim and volume have been coalesced and the trim fader has reverted back to zero dB, ready for a subsequent pass if needed. Or I could just switch out of trim mode if I'm done. How and when the trim automation gets coalesced is actually governed by a preference, which you'll find under setup, preferences, mixing, and in the automation section, coalesce trim automation. I've currently got this set to manually, which means that I have to actively tell it to coalesce, as we just saw. With this setting, I could have actually switched out of trim mode and it would have still retained the two separate volume and trim playlists until I manually chose to coalesce them. However, there are two other modes, after every pass and on exiting trim mode. Enabling after every pass, if I now go back into trim mode and make some changes, When I stop this, the trim automation and volume are summed or coalesced immediately. Playing it back again, making a few changes, okay, and then stopping it, it does the same. It's coalescing after every pass. Let's just go back into those preferences once again and select the other option on exiting trim mode. Now, when I'm doing a trim pass, this will allow us to do it, stop it, and you can see it retains the playlist but when I deactivate trim, it coalesces. Trim mode is a great feature for updating automation when you need to tweak it rather than completely redoing it from scratch. So far we've seen it in latch mode, but it's also very useful in touch because you can then just tweak as and when needed. And when you're not touching the fader, no change will be applied. So that's the trim automation feature in Pro Tools. Thanks for watching.